Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's per video. We're going to have a look at the weather. We're going to take 14 days for today's per video. Day 10 will take us to 21st of March and we'll be able to extend up beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe I'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. So that gets us into early April. I should get like that for you in a moment. Just to say that first, a video really says our 6 UK weather forecast and we've released a little forecast for Cheltenham Festival as well. So uh, the season of uh, events, festivals, bank holiday weather forecast for the spring and summer underway now at Gazwo is starting off with Cheltenham Festival so check out that one if you'd like to do that please like share and subscribe on all day videos and content and thank you so much everybody for doing that right so we've had an update from Hadby for the central temperature the CT is now sitting at 5.8 that is 0.1 of a degree above the 61 to 99 average so virtually bang on average for the first 10 days of uh, March that's going to rise over the next few days no, I wouldn't be that surprised if that goes up into the sevens, maybe, uh, by this time next week, we shall see. These are the 500 millibar height and omni flow charts, Penn State University, for the next week, 10 days. We've got the ECMWF on the top, and the GFS is down here on the bottom. No 500 millibars, 85 feet is an area in the atmosphere. High pressure and low pressure are being moved around by the jet stream running above. Blue extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. So in the 7 to 10 day time frame, the east end looks quite unsettled with low pressure in the Atlantic. We have got a ridge bow to our south and east. So the two will combine if it verifies, of course, to, uh, it's only a prediction, to uh, bring the wind up from the southwest. So that looks rather unsettled, but also should be mild with uh, spring-like temperature. Now, the GFS is similar, but the high pressure is stronger. So uh, there's less low pressure in the Atlantic, more high pressure over into the east coast. So it's a more settled scenario, and it's a very mild or warm scenario as well, with the wind again coming up from that southerly or southwesterly direction so both uh both the ecm and the gfs looking really quite mild in the seven to ten day time frame these are the uh, gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks the, the uh, red line is the first year upper air temperature average for rugby so you see that for the next week today we're solidly above average really but i'll say off a little bit on the cool side of the of course but solidly above average generally as we're pushing out to about the 20th 21st of march around day 10. then i've got a bit of a reduction in the upper air temperatures albeit with a lot of scatter though as we go into the final week of uh, march we've got the violent ensemble members up here colder ensemble members down there um, no, quite uncertain, you know, as always when we get beyond uh, 10 days out. But certainly next week, 10 days looking really quite mild. Also, more precipitation to come. That doesn't, uh, never ends, does it? So, got a dry slot at the moment, but things will be turning wet again tomorrow to Wednesday. Then the second half week going a bit drier. And through the weekend into next week, it looks quite unsettled with further rainfall spikes. Temperature anomaly should be 11th to 19th of March. We're coming out above average. going to be a mild average week to come across most parts of Europe, actually. Amputation anomalies from the 11th to 19th of March. So, west and average in the north and west, a little bit drier than average more southern and eastern regions. Latest ripple of that from Earth and School.net shows that we're losing the easterly now. So, we had a very chilling weekend, didn't we, with those easterly winds. And yesterday, wasn't it atrocious? Yesterday, all that rain and cold winds. Anyway, that low brought the rain. Yes, it's moving off into the low countries now and Germany. And uh, we actually still just about making it into the country. But actually, it's southwesterlies that are waiting in the wings with these areas of low pressure in the Atlantic. And they're going to be pushing in milder air in uh, the next 24 hours or so. But, of course, also be pushing uh, more rain. Right, let's go for chart day to them. It's our HUK Met Euro is looking midnight on Thursday. So low pressure to our north, low pressure to our west, looking rather unsettled again. This low moves in into Friday, probably bring further outbreaks of rain. Into the weekend, the start of next week, stays unsettled too. Low pressure, never far away. And just a bit of a hint by the very end of the UK Met Euro run that we might be starting to turn the wind into a rather cooler northwesterly uh, then. 
I can't again with that area of low pressure to the north and also more areas of low pressure in the Atlantic to our west. They all sort of get together and bring an unsettled spell for the second half of the week into the weekend. Uh, so our west is keep on coming. So that's a setup for the day on Monday with low pressure going to the north to the west. A bit of a rich is up. Uh, through uh, central parts of Europe there, Germany, over to Poland and whatnot. Uh, we bring the wind up from more of a west southwesterly direction again. So rather unsettled and quite mild. Uh, this is how the KMA is looking. Again, low pressure, keeping things changeable through the end of week and into the weekend as well. And we go on into next week and just keep the low pressure going. So we get to 23rd of March with the KMA. And, uh, yeah, there's more deep low pressure in the Atlantic, wet, windy weather sweeping in off the Atlantic. So, again, no real changes there. Uh, GFS 6 said, uh, keeps a mild, unset uh, midnight run, I should say, keeps a mild and unsettled weather going through the weekend into next week. We start to get that build of pressure to ourselves and the east, sort of the 500 millibar high tonic road chart. So, eventually, by day 10, high pressure is taking over. Um, and we're going to tell that area of high pressure actually into the last week of March. Large ridge of high pressure keeps it mostly dry. I would imagine the night could be a bit chilly, but by day, I would think quite pleasant in the March sunshine. Temperatures up to about mid teens Celsius, maybe. And, um, and yeah, you know, quite dry as well. Eventually, the high pressure begins to go to retrograde and moves up towards green. So, a bit of a hint of a normally by the very end of a GFS uh, midnight run. But that, of course, is a really long way off. It's how the GFS uh, 6 head looks in comparison. Once more, low pressure is heading in off the Atlantic through the second half of this week, bringing further wet and windy weather in. With it into the weekend, again, low pressure is dominating in the Atlantic. And then we get into the beginning of next week, and higher pressure starts building over to the east of the country. So it turns us a little bit drier, especially in the south and the east, but would still be rather unsettled in the north and in the west. And then into the extended range, well, not as much high pressure with the GFS 6 z it has a go at building some high pressure air around the 23rd of March, but really uh, it's the Atlantic that's in control. So a much more unsettled 6 air compared to midnight run. That's how we end up with low pressure to our southwest, high pressure in over Scandinavia, possibly hitting to go a bit of an easterly, trying to set up by the uh, end of March with that one. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. And show you everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? And let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gals Weather, Weather Vids. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, okay, so GM uh, again with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic through the second half of the week, bringing lots of uh, unsettled conditions with it as well. Into next week, high pressure builds to our south and east, low pressure out to the northwest. And we start to drag up this southerly southwest, but stays unsettled uh, with this area of low pressure, bringing some very wet weather potentially through the beginning of uh, next week. Eventually, it's starting to go colder as well with the GM. Uh, uh, by around days 9 and 10, that push the low pressure to the east and bring down more of a north northwesterly there. Uh, by uh, sort of days 9 and 10. So unsettled and eventually finishing up quite cold <laughs> with the gem. Oh dear. And then we've got the ECM looking like this. Again, uh, low pressure is um, in the ascendancy, is in control through the last stage of the week into the weekend. But areas of low pressure keep on coming on into next week. Yes, those areas of low pressure carry on. Driving in that's set up by day 10, which is the 21st of March, and uh, you've guessed it low pressure sitting just to our west and southwest, looking unsettled with spells of rain spreading in from off the Atlantic. It never rains, does it? Never rains. This is my precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from tometro.com. Oh, uh, more wet weather will be pushing in during the course of tomorrow. And particularly across England and Wales. And then further unsettled dishes to the north and the west in the second half of the week, perhaps a bit drier in the south and east of Wales. Into the weekend, and yes, low pressure piling in off the Atlantic, bringing further bouts of heavy rain in with it. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> then we get a drier interlude for a couple of days early next week, but uh, low pressure never far away, and the rain never far away either. So, uh, by day 10, looking very wet to the north and the west. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. Gets us 21st of March. You know, the Senate Met Office, 24 members of the ECM 
on solving clinical control and the operation run. Unsettled, low pressure uh, dominating from the Atlantic. 11 with uh, low pressure to our southwest, and that could well be bringing further unsettled conditions in with it too. Nine, a little bit more like the GFS rather than anticyclonic, so this is the most settled option. Um, still quite mild with that option, would be bringing up the wind for the cell, but uh, um, that's the most settled option. But uh, I think generally, you know, if you put the 18 there, which has low pressure close to us, and the 24 here, then the majority option is still to low pressure really at day 10. And then in two week time, these are the options that we've got. We'll get us to 26th of March, 13 members of the ECM. Ensembles, you've guessed it, low pressure still <laughs> keeps on coming. Uh, another 13 with a deep low right over top of the country, but 11 has a little bit of a ridge building through the west of Europe into the North Atlantic. So that could be a little bit more settled. We've got 10 with high pressure over and to the east of the country, mainly dry with that to them. Um, probably quite pleasantly mild as well, bringing up the wind from the south east. And then we've got four, perhaps more towards the Scandinavian high, with perhaps a rather chillier easterly. So, uh, yeah, we've got 13 and 13, 25 that are low pressure dominating. And then we've got 11, 10 and 4, which virtually gets us to um, 13 again, actually. Um, but, uh, but, but more towards high pressure. So about a 50 50 strip split between high pressure and low pressure there with the ECM ensembles in two weeks time. CFS B2 finally these are 500 millibar high tides bring down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 11th through to the 17th of March. The next week looking unsettled with below average heights low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Week 2 will be the 18th to 24th of March with high pressure over to the east country, mostly dry and should be relatively mild or even quite warm with that as winds come up from the south. Week three <laughs> is going to be 25th to the 31st of March with high pressure to our east and also to our northwest. Well, low pressure down to the southwest. That will be turned a bit more unsettled to the south and to the west. And then week four rounds it all off. It's the first week of the 7th of April with low pressure then right over top of the country. And that is in combination with fairly strong blocking around Greenland as well. So perhaps a cold and wet start to April. Oh dear. <laughs> it's four weeks away, so not really worth worrying about. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Make sure to show everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't get to tell friends about gas weather well, these Then to subscribe to. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. We only need to put on around 60 subscribers, I think, to get us out to 18.1k. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, it would be incredible. And we'll thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, I'll just tell us happening on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have 6 MUK UK weather forecast. We'll have the EC extended uh, look ahead for Europe as well, uh, extended European outlook. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day or two so please keep checking back to the channel for more but uh, for this one and for today's videos that's all for now and thanks for watching